Truckers XTV on air. We are now live in three, two, one. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Layton's Mystery Journey. In the previous episode, we did half of the first episode by revisiting the f couple of puzzles. Today, we're going to continue on on case number five by going into this mansion, the White Resonance, the hallway of White House where Lisa lives. I never going to get a cutscene. If you're after this episode, make sure that like button is great picture to the channel. Hello, is anybody home? No, there's nobody here. We'll have to go. But there are lights on, and the place doesn't feel empty. So if there's nobody at home, perhaps... Perhaps this really is a haunted house. Kitriel, stop it. Haha, <laughs> I'm only putting, pulling your leg. Careful, cat. I'll show run, run off screaming down the street like a little girl. I find it hard to believe that there's nobody at home. Miss White asked both of us to come at this time. Wait. What? What is it? I thought I heard something. What did you hear? What was it? Oh, was it a... Good evening and welcome. Wooster. Uh, uh, How unexpected visitor. It's it's hold up. It's a ghost. I don't know. Sir, butler, sir. Ask the blood, blood curdling, blood curdling but alrighty then. Blood curdling butler. One coin. Yeah. Before we do anything else, before we ask the blood curdling, blood cuddling butler. Two hit coins. Anything? It's most unforgivable of me not to have noticed your arrival and greeted you in a proper fashion. I apologize. <clears throat> Welcome to the White Residence. I am the White's butler, Wooster. Wooster? Did he say butler or scary old man? I didn't catch it. Hello, Mr. Wooster. I'm Ketria Layton. This is... Uh, oh, yes, um, Emiliana Pathetti. Scotland Yacht. Hello. Miss White asked us to come because she has a mystery she wants to help solve. Very good, ma'am. I'm sure Miss White would like to give you the details personally. Miss White is the head of the household, I believe. Indeed, ma'am. Mr. and Lady White regrettably passed away in an un unfortunate accident. Miss White was their only child. The young Miss White is di disinclined to the venture outside the residence. She is of a solitary disposition. Really? What does she have to do to entertain herself all alone in this large house, I wonder? Since infancy, <clears throat> Miss White has been most adept at crafts and handiwork, ma'am. She maintains a full schedule of such activities. I see. And could you tell us where we might find Miss White now, please, Wooster? Of course, ma'am. Kindly proceed directly up the staircase. Miss White is expecting you. Yeah, we have not yet found any puzzles at all in this. As soon as we start this freaking game. So if we found two of them. Fireplace. Wait. Photo. Nothing. Yo, literally, we have not yet found any puzzles at all. At the beginning. Maybe later on, once we talk to her, maybe a sort of test, but still. I'm getting no wait. Three hand coins. Cause I'm literally getting nothing. Wait. Or is it the butler? That's how I got the butler. Wait. I thought I saw something. Something dusty. Wait. It's like my eyes are being shifted around. 
either a cursor or dust, whatever. <clears throat> I don't think it shows anything, so let's go. Hello? Oh, you've come. At last, a normal room with a normal person in it. That would appear to be Miss White. Let's find out what this is all about. Uh, can we explore first? There we go, what do we have here? Thank you. Miss Lighton, look, there's a puzzle ho hiding here. Well, well, a stumper, not a spook. Then in the spirit of puzzle solving, I'll unstump it without delay. <clears throat> Number 57, the ant and the sugar cube. This is an ant. <clears throat> this is an ant at one edge of a thin board and it wants to get past the crickets on top of the board to reach the sugar cube at the other end. Connect the points with straight lines to find the shortest possible route. The ant can move anywhere but the crickets won't move from their current location. Slide the ant to move to the to a point and decide the route and it will travel. What is the shortest route possible? So he cannot go through there. Because these guys will stay in place no matter what, right? What is the shortest route? Well, besides the simple, obvious. You go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spaces. You get seven spaces going there. No matter what, it's the same thing, same distance. Because they'll stay in place, right? <clears throat> to get past the crickets on top of the car, to reach the school queue, connect the points with the straight lines to find the shortest possible route. The shortest possible route. The shortest possible route. With a straight line. One. Two. Oh, wait, you're contacting that one. You'll be in contact with that one. Yeah, I would just say go around them. That's all I can say. Because you'll encounter these guys. Is there any rule about going around? Because literally you're not touching them at all. That's the shortest I can think of. Without touching them. Besides going like this. That. 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 Maybe like that. No, not like that. Where's the undo again? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I would just say go around them. If that's not the right answer, I'd be mad. This should do it, I think. What? Not good, Catriel, not good. Bad luck. Ants are clever creatures with some underhand tricks. Try imagining the shortest route it would take. The shortest route it would take. <laughs> What is the shortest route? There is no short route. They all like the same distance. One, two, three, four, five. Connect the points with the straight lines to find the shortest route possible. The ant can move anywhere, but the crickets won't move from the current location. Slide the ant to move it in a point and decide the route will travel. Without touching them, they'll be in the way. The shortest route possible. I would just say straight ahead. 
Where are the where are the places with no crickets? Yeah. Isn't that like a freaking dumb thing to say? If you only go by what you can see, you won't be able to find the shortest route. Think about what you can do if you're an ant. What you can do as an ant? Oh, I swear to God, if this is one of those logical questions, I'll never be so mad in my life. It's always the logical ones. I'll say that in every freaking episode. If there is, I'll be stating that it's the logical questions I'm having so hard because sure, it's so logical that I'm not understanding at all that I should shut my mouth and think this through. But that ain't happening. God damn it. I'm looking it up. Like I've been doing like every other episode. As I keep proceeding, the questions are getting harder and harder. So what am I doing? It's the most dumbest question there is. Literally. So it is, I was right, just go straight ahead. But why I did not, what, the reason why I was thinking that is because you got a freaking cricket right there and you have a cricket that's literally on the borderline. On the line. Oh boy. This should do it, I think. Puzzles are made for solving. You did it! The shortest route is a straight line on the underside of the board where there are no crickets. Ants are wily creatures. What? Let me read that question again. <clears throat> Let me read that question again. I did not quite understand. Think, think I'm a jig thinking. There is an ant on one of the edge of the thin board and it wants to get past the crickets on top of the board. Oh, okay. It's because I did not fully read the question because See a new hand. What? I Oh, ready then. I just wasted something dumb. So basically, from what we got, since I can't look up those questions anymore, the hints. So basically, the reason why is because that the freaking crickets. Oh yeah, crickets. Yeah, crickets. Looks like praying mantis to me. The crickets are are on top of the board, and this ant wants to get from point A to point B. And since ants are freaking ants that can crawl around no matter what point, he can just go straight forward. By going the underside, am I right? That's the logical type of thing. Any mystery or any puzzle solved. Yeah, because then they are ants, they can go around. Those don't even look like crickets, they look like praying mantis to me. Did I not? Alrighty then. Back it up. Wait, didn't we get another dust? Someone? And coin. Wait, here it is. Oriental ornament. <clears throat> anything, 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 anything. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, let's talk to her. Hello, Katria. <clears throat> Thank you for coming. So you, I presume, are from Scotland Yard? Yes. I'm Emiliana Perfetti. If we could get straight down to business, please. Do you have some problem here at your home, Miss White? Oh, please call me Lisa. Yes. I counted so many people already, but no one seems to solve my problem. Then the other day, Madame Dooley mentioned a lovely young detective woman she knew. I see, so she recommended me? How kind of her. 
Yes, and I also heard there was an extremely com competent analyst at Scotland Yard, so competent. Well, I thought perhaps one of you might be able to help, so I decided to invite you both here to explain. Well, well, certainly do, your, do our best. I'm sure you could you tell us what the problem is then, Lisa? Oh, yes. <clears throat> of course, but if you don't mind, I'd rather like you to solve this puzzle first. I don't want to waste your time, you see. If you can't manage this, I'm sure the ghost will prove too much for you. G ghost? Number 56, Fibbing Phantoms. Some cheeky ghosts want to play with you. It's a game where you have to listen to what they all say and then figure out who is lying. Telephone. It seems there will be a maximum of two of them who are not telling the truth. Touch the ghost and face the hero to see. Touch the ghost to see what what it to see its comment and hear what it say. There are no liar amongst us among us. I am the the only one who's lying. There are two liars among us among us. Not everyone is lying, you know. I believe that's the truth right there. There are no liar. Wait. That's the that's the liar right there. Why did I say that's the truth? That's the liar right there. Identify all the liars. I am the only one who's lying. There are two liars among us. That's the truth. Not everyone is lying, you know. Hmm. Is that someone that says there's no lies when they're trying to find a liar? That's one of them. Wait a minute. Okay, that's what I was about to say. There are two liars among us. I am the only one who's lying. Not everyone is lying, you know. I am the only one who's lying. Not everyone is lying, you know. Why do I feel like it's A and B? This is an interesting one. <clears throat> Puzzles are made for solving. You did it. A and B were lying. They really enjoyed that game. Looks like they're not done playing yet. <clears throat> well, Lisa, do we pass muster? I solved your little puzzle. Wonderful, yes. I feel sure I'm talking to the right people now. You see, it's about the worrying, well, blood-curdling, really, events that have been taking place here. Blood-curdling. I don't know if you'll believe me when I tell you this, but we have ghosts. I knew it. Yes, and not just a few either. The whole house is crawling with them. That's amazing! So this really is a genuine haunted house. What are you so excited about, KCL? I'm afraid I have no idea why the ghosts have chosen to visit. Perhaps they've departed souls with a grudge against my family. Or perhaps the house is built on, my, on some significant site or some other reason entirely, I don't know. But whatever the reason, the ghosts are here and their malice is directed at me. Do you mean the ghosts are s scaring you? They're intimidating you? And this happens on a daily basis? That's right. Various supernatural phenomena have been taking place. I'm so scared. I don't know what to do. I've consulted so many people already. I've had construction workers and surveyors here trying to determine if what's happening is really with the work of ghosts. I asked the police to investigate in case it's criminal activity that's behind it. When none of those avenues bore fruit, I even had a famous spiritual medium and a shaman here trying to help. But no one has been able to stop these mysterious happenings at all. I see. So you really been at your wit's end, but then you heard about us. <clears throat> I I really don't think it's uh, it's a profile that you need, Miss White. I'm not at all sure we can be any assistance against g ghosts. Of course we can. Any mystery solved, that's the Lane and Detective Agency model. How can you possibly claim that? So, um, does that mean you'll take the case, Miss Layton? And you, Miss Perfetti? Just a moment, I really don't. 
Of course we will. Whatever's going on here, be it ghosts or giddy pigs, we'll get to the truth of it. We? I haven't agreed to anything yet. Thank you so much. Oh, that's such a relief. Wait, what? Huh, <sighs> profiling ghosts. This really isn't my job description, K3L. But Lisa is clearly extremely worried. We must do our best for her, don't you think? Oh, I say, you are generous, so generous of heart, miss. I do agree it's our duty to help people who are in trouble. No self-respecting English gentlewoman could turn their back on a person in need. Well, I have Italian blood. I thought it was German. Va bien. I don't like to be manipulated like this. But as you say, we have a duty of care to the community. So shall we start by investigating the house? No, I think we should start by questioning all the relevant parties. We need more information about what exactly is happening here. Hmm. I certainly don't disagree. Adora, I will accompany you. Oh, really? But in the South Savoy Theater case, you were determined to operate independently. There may be vital evidence or hints that you overlook without me there to point them out. Sure. It's got nothing to do with you not wanting to be alone in here, has it, security cat? Your dog has been a very disconcerting bark, Kate Come along then, let's get started. I think it's clear who the best source of information about the goings on in this house will be. The butler? Yeah. And with that, we're on today's episode right here, ladies and gentlemen. Like, comment, subscribe, share, like, and me, and I'm signing out.